I regret this. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. In this box right here, we've got something that sucks. It's called Rev Air, a blow dryer. That's what's in here. Today we're going to give Rev Air a try and see how much it sucks. It doesn't blow. Although those two mean the same thing. And hopefully we can do all of this and put it together before my hair dries. Louisa, who's that? Oh, it's me. Does it suck drying your hair? Sometimes. Now it does. All right, let's try that out. Do I really want to read the directions? It's a big book for instructions. And first I want to say that I have looked at a couple of videos. I can take these off now. I have looked at a couple of videos on this Rev Air hair dryer and a lot of pushback came from the price. And I believe this set that was sent to me is around $399. Now, that sounds like a lot and it kind of is for a blow dryer, but then I thought about the Dyson hair dryer and I think it's pretty comparable, like the Mac Daddy Dyson hair dryer. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stand up. Put these, let's put some of these in so my hair will stay wet. Just needed one. Okay, so I have bubble wrap here. And for those of you who don't know, my dog has a bubble wrap fetish. So let's see, my door's closed. But for some reason, this dog can sense if there's bubble wrap in an envelope that is on our front porch. She will scratch to go out in order to get that envelope and pop the bubbles. This is not good bubble wrap. I've become a connoisseur. She likes the kind that pops really easily. Anyway, enough about that. Oh man. Okay, so here is the bag that contains all of this. All right, whatever is in here is very heavy. This whole box was very heavy. I was surprised when bringing it into my house how very heavy it was. Oh, it's a stand. So, I know how to do this. So I'm assuming this is some sort of filter, which this looks very familiar, as in a part of my vacuum cleaner. Hmm. Okay, so there. Good job, Lou. And then, oh, I did it. Yes. Pretty sure that all we do now is plug this bad boy in. So it has like a regular hair dryer, high temperature, no heat, and low temperature. And that is on this big daddy. Ooh, look. She's getting her hair sucked, just like I'm about to. So when I turned it on, it illuminated at the top. I'm a little scared. All right, I don't wanna hear it because I could only find this fine tooth comb, no brush. And we are gonna start up here because what I'm thinking and hoping is that by sucking instead of blowing, sounds very naughty, that it will create some height in the root area. Okay, wait a second. What I didn't see on the videos that I looked at was anybody setting the heat control. Two is high, let's do low temperature. And Sucky. 
So my hair is a little warm, I can feel it, and it's tangly. I'm gonna find a better brush. I'll be right back. <gasps> Look who's here for bubble wrap. Oh boy, where are you gonna go with that? Take your bubble wrap. I know you love it. Come on, Abby. So Abby got the bubble wrap. You know what else Abby got a long time ago? The only brush I could really find. She chewed this end. This was a good Aveda brush and she has chewed it and listen, some of the bristles are in there, but I still use it. So yeah, it is, the piece that I dried is very straight. It feels very soft, softer than when I blow dry it with a regular hair dryer. See, my hair starts to curl up a little bit when it's drying naturally. So let's get this section. It's cumbersome. It's big. Oh. on one and it is no longer on warm it was on cold so that does nothing for us medium heat low heat okay you know when you have a hair dryer and you can just go click eat, eat, no. does seem to have a little height right here. Let's give it the true test. What, Abby? I don't have any more. No more. So it said it dries two times faster, so I did it for half the time I thought I needed it. It's straight. I'm gonna take a big chunk. I am sweating. This is not light. I have to keep this hose, you know, out of the way. My hair is very, very soft and it looks shiny and it's straight. I don't think I would use a straightening iron on top of this except for this stuff that I let dry without it. But I'm thinking I have another little test. So don't go away. This is my whole house vacuum and I've plugged it in right over there. Of course it doesn't provide any heat, but it does suck really well. Really, really well. Seeing as all the dirt in my house goes in this tube, I'm a little grossed out, but 
I'm still gonna try two at a time. Oh my god. It's not the same thing, not at all. Whilst this does tangle it up a bit, not quite like this. All right, let's finish up with the back of my hair. So that little button Either you get no heat, a little heat, and more heat, and the more heat you get, the more noise the little handheld part makes because it's, you know, warming it up. Don't tell me you didn't want to see me do that. Okay, I am finished using the Rev Air hair dryer and forever using the vacuum on my hair at least. So here's the verdict, or at least my opinion on the sucky hair dryer thing. It straightened my hair the same, if not better, than a straightening iron would only because it left the body in my hair, whereas when I straighten my hair, I feel like it's just stick straight and also irons out a little bit of the body, which sometimes I want, sometimes I don't. While the Rev Air dried my hair very well with suction rather than blowing, I find the whole machine very large and very heavy. But that's not to say that I don't think it's a wonderful item for, say, a hair salon. I think if you said to somebody, I'm going to try this new Rev Air on your hair instead of blowing it dry, of course, for a straight hairstyle, I think the person in the chair might be pretty excited when you pull this bad boy out. Now, I don't blow dry my hair every day. I do if I plan on having a straight style rather than curled. I let it air dry naturally when I am planning on curling my hair. Having said that, that makes sense for this thing to use when I'm having straight hairstyles because that will cancel out the using of the flat iron. Would I want to pull this thing out every time I wanted to blow my hair? Oh wait, suck my hair dry. I don't think so. It would have to be something that I would permanently have on my bathroom countertop as to not have to lug it in and out of a cabinet or wherever. So although I think it's a very good idea for say salons or even somebody that, you know, like on Instagram or even YouTube, someone who does a lot of hair videos and wants to not damage their hair as much or use as much electricity, this would be a good thing to own if hair is your life. My hair's not my life, but I will use this again. Is it worth the price tag of $3.99? Well, it is a massive unit. So when I look at it and I say $400 and then I look at the Dyson, that little round thing and think $400, yeah, I would expect this to cost $300 more than I would a Dyson if I didn't know the brand name. So that's it for this video on the Rev Air hair dryer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I absolutely did. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye guys.